What's going on guys? This is Enoch back with another set of free and open source Android applications. Open Note is an unpopular but very good note-taking application I think you must check out. The app is packed with features that make it a must-have and yet maintains a clean aesthetic. So for features, you get a simple notepad for quick ideas with a full markdown editor to format your notes like a pro and this feature is one that you are going to enjoy using. The text formatting features, especially when you switch to reading mode from the editing mode. You could see how professional your notes are displayed and for the first time I've seen a note application which automatically arranges your notes into sections or outlines and even has this dedicated outline icon, think of it like your table of contents. And at the top you can move your notes into categories, you get a search icon, you can switch between reading and editing modes, choose to make links clickable or not. And in the three dot menu, you get a lot more like creating a reminder on nodes, exports nodes as text files, markdown and also supports HTML files. Another awesome feature you will love is this print feature which lets you directly save your notes as PDF, which is totally awesome. Away from the notes part, you get folder categorization so everything stays organized. It supports OCR text recognition so you can take a photo of anything with text on it and the application extracts the text into the notepad which you can edit and then save. You can also save images, audio, documents as well, password protection is built in and it works completely offline. Easily one of the most underrated note-taking applications out there, you are definitely going to love using this note-taking application. Next on the list is called eInk Bro, and this is a lightweight browser which has a physical volume key navigation, high contrast icons, and a bold font button. Now, this one is made for anyone rocking an eInk device, you know, those devices with a paper like display that are great for reading, but can still be used on all Android devices. And so, if you will consider a simple browser that hardly hogs data, then check this out. Everything is optimized for smooth, minimalistic browsing. And it isn't just a dumbed down browser, you still get tab control, full screen browsing, advanced gesture controls and even extras like web search, saving entire pages as PDFs and opening links in other applications. And so if you've got an e-ink device, this is hands down the best browser experience you can get and if you do not have an e-ink device, you can still try this out for privacy focused browsing. Next up is called Tubular. And if you've ever used the good old new pipe, then you already know where this is going. Tubular is basically new pipe, but even better, you get all the privacy features of new pipe, no Google tracking, no YouTube API, just raw unrestricted access to YouTube. And not everyone liked it when YouTube took away the dislike button on videos. And if that is you, Tubular comes with built-in return YouTube dislike. That means you can have access to a dislike button on a video just like old times. And you can play videos in the background, you can watch videos in picture in picture, you can download videos or audio straight to your phone storage and the best part, it works without needing an account to use it. And so if you are serious about privacy when it comes to enjoying YouTube content and while enjoying extra premium features then give this application a try. Have you ever wished you could set a reminder that actually demands your attention, meet remind me. You see, most reminders just send you a notification that gets buried under hundreds of other alerts. Well, not this one. Remind me plays smart, so instead of just sending a ping, it actually pops up an overlay, a full screen alert that ensures you see your reminder when you need to. It's easy, it's effective, and it solves the problem of forgetting reminders in the simplest way possible. Seriously, activities in the background hardly gets launched and this is a common issue on Android. This app comes with a clever workaround using a quick overlay which really makes a huge difference. Still on the topic of privacy, we have this application called Disroot. And so if you do care about privacy as I mentioned, decentralization and open source tech, this application is one you shouldn't miss out on. Let's say you purchase a new phone and then you need access to some applications or services. You can install this application which will then connect you to open source applications and services from FDroid or their website. So for example, if you need an email application, you just tap on the email icon and then the app finds the best open source email application you should get. In my case, I have K9Mail installed already. So what the application does is it connects you to FDroid to install all corresponding applications for you to enjoy open source services on your smartphone. This route itself is a privacy driven platform so all its services are without tracking and are free to use. It connects you to the platform, 
offering services that don't require you to sell your private data to big tech companies. It is open, it is free, and it's made by the community for the community. Kindly consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Those were some free open source applications most Android users didn't even know existed. But should definitely give it a try. Hit the like button if you found something new from this video, and as always, thank you for watching. Thank you.